Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. Over in Ireland believe that they are very close to finally dismantling an Irish branch of a sophisticated multinational fraud gang. So the gang, which is primarily made up of criminals from West Africa, consists of three elements which span many countries. So it's believed that one element concentrates on financial scams in the European continent, while the second element concentrates on trying to put that money through Irish bank accounts. And then the third element, which is based in Nigeria, draws the money down there. Gardi believe that the gang laundered £14.6 million in stolen money through Irish accounts over a two-year period. So that's between 2015 and 2017. So officers actually arrested a man and a woman both aged in the late 20s as part of an investigation and the male is believed to be one of the leaders of the gang in Ireland. They were the 6th and 7th arrests under what the Gardaí had termed Operation Joggle, set up around two years ago to target the gang. A small number of gang members are still to be arrested and interviewed, and Gardaí are confident that they'll soon be able to send over a file to the public prosecutions to begin a major case before the courts. So the man is currently being interviewed at Dundalk Garda Station, where he can be held for a maximum of seven days, and the woman is also being held at Dundalk Garda Station, and she can be questioned for up to 24 hours. So as I stated, these arrests are part of Operation Juggle, which is an ongoing investigation into West African organised crime gangs that is suspected of being involved in trade-based money laundering to the estimated value of £14.6 million over a two-year period. So the gang has engaged in all kinds of every fraud right throughout Europe, this includes invoice redirection frauds, where businesses are tricked into sending payments to fake suppliers, where scammers trick employees into handing over data or funds by pretending to be their managers. The gang has also engaged in widespread romance frauds, soliciting money from people on dating sites, so the defrauded money that is gained is then laundered through Irish bank accounts by members of the gang who live in Ireland, and in some cases money mules are also used to launder the cash through their own accounts. So I believe if you're on Snapchat or Instagram and you'll get these people coming in saying we've got money available to you guys, put it in your account, we'll give you £500. That's essentially what it is. I know it might seem enticing, but it's not worth it. Don't do it. Because the gang use young people of various nationalities as money mules and they pay them in small amounts of money to put the stolen cash through their accounts before they transfer it on again. And the money is typically moved using wire transfers to West Africa. And I've heard a number of cases where money mules have been arrested for allowing their accounts to be used for this kind of activity. So this is some big news coming out of Ireland where nearly £15 million worth of cash has been siphoned through accounts into Western Africa. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.